Welcome to the Housing Agency's video series on Part 5 of the Planning and Development Acts 2000 to 2021. This is the second of five videos in this series. This video will focus on the making of a Part 5 agreement. What is a Part 5 agreement? A Part 5 agreement is a legal contract between the local authority and the applicant for planning permission. It sets out what the applicant will deliver. The agreement can be for any of the options set out in the previous video titled What is Part 5? The Part 5 agreement is how the local authority captures 20% of the planning gain. The Part 5 planning condition is attached to the grant of planning and states that the applicant must enter into a Part 5 agreement with the local authority before lodging a commencement notice. If they do not, they risk breaching their planning condition. Negotiations between the local authority and the applicant take place before and after the grant of planning. Both parties must agree on the option to satisfy Part 5 and agree the costs of land or housing provided. What are the key steps in making a Part 5 agreement? The Part 5 resource pack published by the Housing Agency sets out 11 key steps in making a Part 5 agreement. A link to access this document is provided in the video description. Steps one to four take place prior to the grant of planning permission. The first step is to determine whether part five applies to a development. Further information about this is available in our What is part five video. If part five applies to the development, the applicant and the local authority undertake a pre-planning consultation, which will include discussions about part five. Both parties should aim to agree part five in principle if possible. Details of this agreement in principle should be submitted with the planning application. Step three is the submission of the planning application by the applicant. The application must include details of how they propose to comply with part five. The planning authority then considers the planning application and makes a decision. If planning permission is granted, we proceed to step five, where a part five condition is granted to is attached to the grant of planning. After planning is granted, both parties conclude negotiations on the Part 5 agreement. If agreement cannot be reached, dispute me resolution mechanisms are available. At step 7, the agreement is reached and then signed by both parties at step 8. The agreement should be finalised before works are commenced on the development. Following the signing of the agreement, a letter of compliance may be issued by the local authority. This is necessary to determine that the applicant is in compliance with their Part 5 planning condition. Construction commences and the final steps is contract and conveyancing. What information about Part 5 is required to be submitted with a planning application? Under Article 22 of the Planning and Development Regulations, an applicant for planning must submit a Part 5 proposal with their application. Circular Housing 36 2015 summarises the requirements for this proposal. The applicant must state which is their preferred option to satisfy Part 5, for example, the transfer of land or housing. They must submit details in relation to the housing units or land to be provided, depending on their chosen option. And they must provide details of the financial aspects of their proposal, including the estimated costs of any housing. What if the local authority and the developer can't agree on how to satisfy Part 5? If both parties cannot agree on how to satisfy Part 5, disputes can be referred to an arbitrator or to an board planola. The property arbitrator determines the price payable for land, the number and price of houses to be transferred, the site cost of houses, and in the case of legacy agreements for financial contributions in lieu of Part 5, which were made under previous legislation, the arbitrator can determine the payment to be made by the applicant. Alternatively, all disputes not covered by the property arbitrator are determined by on board planola. For example, where the planning authority and the applicant do not agree on an option to satisfy part five. Hope you found this video useful. Here are links to the other four videos in this series.